Hi everyone, this is Jackie with Ventimiglia Realty Partners, the Keller Williams Preferred Realty. And I'm here today with Harry and Ashley of our team. And also we have Rocco Massari from Massari Law with us to answer a few questions about the legal aspect of the real estate transaction. Hi Rocco, thanks for coming on the call with us today. Good morning, good morning all. Thank you for having me. Oh great. Um, so can you explain, first of all, why it's so important for people to use a real estate attorney in, when they're involved in their real estate transaction? No, no, um, absolutely. Um, I mean, firstly, I, I always say, you know, attorneys are like nuclear weapons. You know, I have mine because you have yours. Um, you know, sellers in Illinois are going to have a attorney because they're going to be the ones doing the title work on the transaction and uh, creating all the documents to transfer property from seller to buyer. So, you know, the buyer is also going to need um, someone to protect their interests and well, understand the ins and outs of the contract to protect, protect them from the seller's attorney who's trying to protect his seller. Um, also, it's just a lot of stress going on um, purchasing a new home and you want to have as little on your plate as possible so that you can make sure that your loan process is going as smoothly and you got somebody who's protecting your back and protecting your earnest money throughout the entire transaction. Great. Great. So could you kind of explain a little more on the spectrum, the difference between what you do for sellers and versus buyers? Yeah, no problem. Um, so, you know, on the seller side, a, you you know, like you're going to do on the buyer side, you're going to review the contract on either side. Um, both sides, you're gonna offer and request different modifications to the contract, whether you're protecting the seller who you're trying to protect their property and their interests, and then the buyer, you're trying to protect their earnest money and protect their ability to get out of the contract if they need to, in addition to making sure that this person who's taking title to someone else's home is getting a, a home that is as free of um, legal issues, especially as possible. Um, in addition to, you know, I'm gonna help the buyer um, request and negotiate uh, repairs to the home, uh, additional credits uh, for repairs to the home. Um, after we do that, you know, we get through um, them getting their loan approval. In addition, you know, with the loan approval uh, process, you know, a, a buyer might need more time than has been allotted in the contract. And so I've got to make sure to ask for those extensions in, in a timely manner um, in order to protect them. Um, then when it comes to closing, reviewing all the loan documents, making sure that everything that the seller gives to us is correct, everything that the lender has given us is correct and um, is giving what, we're, what we've asked for to be transferred to the buyer and done correctly. Hey, great, great. And um, Rocco, how have you adjusted your services and how do you run your business a little differently since the COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, everybody, uh, everybody's working a little bit differently. Luckily for me, you know, my business, had, you know, from the beginning, I started to be as portable as possible. Um, I basically, I have access digitally encrypted on both ends. Um, to all my files 24 seven, wherever I am. Um, so I've been, you know, ready to go and, and work uh, in this climate. Um, but the biggest change has been um, not going to closing. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I've had a few clients where I've actually never met them. You know, mm -hmm. I've talked to them, we've exchanged text messages, emails, you know, um, you know, some of them we've like FaceTime or Zoomed like this, but never actually like seen them in person. You know, they don't know if I'm, you know, if I have anything going on below my chest. <laughs> um, so it, it's a little bit different. Um, and, you know, and, and it's doing all that foundation work to get to closing um, to make sure that they're going to be sitting there in a room signing everything, most likely by themselves. Um, but still know that I can be available to them by a Zoom, by a FaceTime, by a phone call, or, you know, if they just want to take pictures and, and sh shoot me a text with that picture telling me, hey, this is what I have in front of me and I, I can't remember what you told me to do with it. And so I can, you know, hold their hand through that process. So right. it's, uh, 
it's been a big change, but you know, I'm, I'm glad to help people because, you know, buying and selling homes, it, it, you know, it's a great experience. Um, it's a great time in your life. And, you know, I know it's, this is a whole stressful situation, but I think we can make it a lot easier for people. Okay. And what would you say, you know, keeps you going? What's your biggest motivation that keeps you going during this time, keeping your business running and, you know, just rolling with the punches? What would you say? Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, my girl, <laughs> my family. Come here, Mila. Say hi. This is Haley. <laughs> hi. This is Mila. Hi. You know, my little princesses. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, they make this fun. And uh, they love having, you know, mom and dad around all the time. And uh, it's nice. My dog seems to like having me around, so I guess he'll keep me. <laughs> nice. Oh, good. Well, Rocco, thanks so much for joining us today. And we see that you have your hands full. And we appreciate all the great insights. And we hope that you have a great day with your girls. And thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, thanks for having so much. Bye, guys. Everybody stay safe and healthy. Bye. Take care.